Human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is it is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age. The Psychic Age are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will Die! <laughs> oh, Mori. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. <laughs> they told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, Nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get! Get! In! Ugh. My name... Starts with a D. ...is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me... Raz. Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, 
Why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kind of, but... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms! Got it? Now, lights out! Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy Challenge Marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these Psy cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before you know it, 
You'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. Hi. What's the rush? Well, you know what they say about slow rolling tumbleweeds. And by worse, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe. And I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. No way. Last year you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like part of the show if we oh, named the band the right thing. Anything. Oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please. Would you please welcome... No! The Firestarters! Oh, man! <sighs> if we're gonna call it that, we might as well call it Burning Itch! What? <laughs> the 
the Whispering Rockers. Uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? Hey, how's everybody Stupid tonight? You feeling itchy? I said you feeling... Itchy! Watch it, Quentin. Why don't you come alight on my shoulder? Jerk. You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh! I'm practicing for tonight, when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice? Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? For the last time, no! I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. You going to class? to camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get! You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear? Um, nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear.
Frozen solid. It looks like it's completely frozen in a big block of ice. Frozen solid. I would like to speak to whatever cosmic entity has been sending these voices to my head since I was a kid. And visit that entity if possible. I am receiving your messages, but they're too faint to make out. I am designing a space plane to meet you in orbit. Space plane design still rough. You may have to meet me planet side.
I've been imprisoned in a camp for suspected extraterrestrials. I am trapped with misfit Earth children. Please send help. Inhabitants of other galaxies, you are also invited to respond. So if you live in Zwicky's Triplet or FAP 703 or, or anywhere, do not hesitate to initiate rescue procedures. I await your arrival. This message will repeat in 10 seconds. I would like to speak to whatever cosmic entity has been sending these voices to my head since I was a kid. Hey, where are you going, Maloof? Shh! I snuck out! That class is a death trap for crazy people! Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. be in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's psyche, which is awesome. They seem to all be in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's psyche, which is awesome. Hey, Chloe, what are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. 
Whoa! How does it work? I don't have time to explain the technology to you. Hey, uh, Chloe? Go away, Raz. I'm working. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. So... This is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office? It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in the jaw. But I warn you, once you do, the war is on. What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed! A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart! He's not dead, his astral projection just got kicked out of my mind! And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now! Just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on. Get that figment! Be a figgy piggy! Who's coaches, little piggy? Oink, going, going! Onward and up! Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. There it is! Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found! Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now! Son, show it who's boss.
more motivating! Watch out! Fire down below! We can't get past this! This is stupid! Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Whoa. Bobby Zeltz's foot, that's what? You stupid new kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. You're like molasses going uphill in January! With crutches! Come on, one nightmare. Nope!
asses going uphill in January with crutches. Your name, Joey. No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You're talking too slow. <laughs> You're like molasses going uphill in January! With crutches! You can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it. Quick, like a monkey. Hey, slow down, you kid. If you pass me or Bobby, you'll make us look bad, and Bobby will pound you deaf. Bobby, can you hear me? Where are you? Onward and up. Watch those mines, kid. I'll blow you up like a ten-cent kazoo! Hey, Dogen. What's wrong? I keep blowing up. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't do it! Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. I can't do it! I can't do it! Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. I can't do it! Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. You're like molasses going uphill in January with crutches. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay.
follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. Less waiting, more motivating! The plane's going down, soldier! Hit that door and Geronimo! Hey, Did Washington have a shoot when he crossed the Delaware? Just jump, sissy! Thought I hit and then we turned left. Is there like a climax to this story? Didn't I mention the gopher yet? Thought I hit that. Okay, let me start over. First, we went to the end of our street, and then we turned left, and then we turned right, and then we turned a soft right, and then we turned a deep left, and then we took a side road, and then we stopped and asked for directions, and then Lady had to go to the bathroom, and then Lady saw a gopher. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. And then I bent down to tie my shoe. And then we walked three miles. And then we walked two miles. And then we walked four miles. And then we walked half a mile. And then we made a U-turn. And then we had a snack. And then I gave Lady a bone. game we can't do it yeah we're no good and the coach won't open the gate until someone wins yay Raz! just punch that to start you score enough points on this course kid and I'll give you a reward. Enjoy that. One of my favorites.
piece of equipment once you get checked out on it. Till then, just steer clear of them. Yeah. 